guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 4 of season 2 of Princess Connect Redive. Alrighty, so yeah, you're probably wondering why the heck this is either coming out, um, maybe late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, probably really more Thursday rather than when it was supposed to come out on Monday. Um, so, <laughs> okay, as of now. Wednesday Deja until you see you know the next video of me which will be what Friday um I have been working my ass off all this week um and when I recorded Tribe 9's reaction I was it was maybe about two hours before I had gone to work and such and I was gonna record both but I really didn't have much time because I had to help my mom with stuff and by the time the edit of Tribe 9 was done um I knew I was going to be at work, so I was going to do it when I got home, and I was, these last two days, today not so much, but really <laughs> Monday and Tuesday, I was exhausted, where I literally came home, sat down, and I could not get back up, and I was like, as much as I needed to like take a shower, I took a shower and stuff and everything, but I was like, I cannot physically sit down for like 30 minutes to record something, try to get it out before the night, so I said, okay. I got to do it on a day where I'm like still up in energy. I'm not hurting as much and such. So, aka today. But yes, let me go ahead and once again and apologize. I did not mean for this to come out Thursday. Next week it'll be a lot different and stuff because hopefully, because I mean, typically, like it depends on, especially when you're working at the UPS store, you never really know um, specifically when someone, when we're going to be busy. But typically, like, yeah, these last few days <laughs> have been busy as hell. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode four and three, two, one, go. All right, what happened this past Monday? So what's her face? I mean, hold up. The fact that, you know, last week we were on some cutesy type ish and then this week we're now on this. Uh oh, okay. But the question is, is Yuki dreaming this? Yeah. Now, would that possibly be like a premonition for him that eventually uh, is that happening today? There's a lot of unanswered questions. <laughs> hmm. It's so funny because, um, what was I doing a couple of days ago? So I was on Twitter and funny enough, like I was following one of, well, no, I was scrolling down my timeline and it's like that. And one of my Japanese followers was like so happy that I was reacting to this show again, because if a lot of people did know, as I said in the first episode of season two, I stopped watching the show due to copyright for like the first six episodes, but of the six episodes only, um, like, I think four got, um, striked on, like, one did, one, so, like, the first two videos on, on one, and the third and final strike was for two different videos, and I was able to save one of them, um, but I think I have the files for each episode that I did, thank God, but it's one of those where I still have shown, like, the episode and stuff and so that's what got me so I mean yeah it is still sad but I was ha I was grateful like what several weeks ago to finish season one and I was like yeah let me go ahead and do this because of course somebody asked and you know sometimes I can't say no depending on what it is though yeah oh <laughs> 
Okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. How did, what happened for us to get to this situation? Why? Oh my god, you! What the fuck happened to Peckery? Oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn! That really just happened. Yeah, about that. Oh, that's that one girl! Once I got too many characters in this game, I don't remember everybody's freaking name. But I think I do... Mm. I think I had her card more in JP than Ian, yeah. My Ian luck, not the greatest from what I played, like, a while ago. I still don't think I'm gonna lock the. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I think I have her card. The girl with the blonde hair. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, no, no, no. We, I, you know, didn't like that in season one. Don't like that now. Why are we adding that? Mm. <laughs> God damn. Oh. 
Well, you think if they're out where you guys live, of course they're going to be anywhere else. Okay, yeah, custom is adorable. <laughs> Also, Maho is as well. Like, Maho might be best girl of the group. Because, like, oh, cutie. Carol? I mean, I get the fact that, like, Carol owes her everything because it seems like our fake princess, the woman who was currently her, you know who I'm talking about, was there for Carol when no one else was. So, of course, she has a lot more respect for her. <laughs> All I hear is my best girlfriend. <laughs> All I hear is Ronco. Damn, Kokoro. <laughs> see, what I still want to see, though, and we talked about this in, like, the first episode for season two, um, the princess fest stuff. But I don't even know if they're going to be able to do that, but maybe by the end of season two. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> no, your buddy. No, wait, Kasumi, I don't think that's... Hmm? So you're fucking telling me what, which was obvious, like... The shadow basically changed into Kasumi. So what are you going to do with her? Mm 
Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. I honestly think that would creep anybody out. <laughs> Aww. Maybe because of the light from Yuki? Oh! Speak of the devil. I love like that one thing from Kanazuba and also that one thing from um Yu-Gi-Oh yeah not Exodia um but something I literally cannot think what the name was <laughs> also it kind of reminded me of Pokemon one of the legends What's her face? No. But yeah, we're still wondering if Yuki will ever get his memories back, but who knows. And then she just leaves. Huh. <sighs> 
What if this ends on a cliffhanger? I, I, I really would do that and screw myself over. Like, Deja. Look how cute she was with her tag. Stop. God, that's beautiful. They literally went, this is only episode four of season two. And it's like, yeah, we're going all out for it. See, it's like freaking Tropical Rouge Freddy here all over again. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Peckerin. Why does that look like moving it is moving closer? What a jinx it. I fucking jinx it. I jinx it. I was like, oh, what if this ends in a cliffhanger today? Oh, no, no, no. Don't say that, DJ. And then look. It ends on a cliffhanger. Y'all y'all literally took notes from from Demon Slayer and Attack on Titan. I mean, this is really good. I mean, the, the build up for it, good. It felt very slow at times and just cute and funny and adorable and such. But now that cliffhanger. Carol! Honey, you don't know what you just did. And maybe she didn't mean to do it. But of course, maybe at the same time, I think she did because she she's doing everything for the fake princess. I have nothing to say anymore. I don't know what to say, but consume me. Consume me, Maho. And Makoto were adorable. Um, it, it's really funny to hear, like, Maho's character, a.k.a. Miss Ronko from Idol Master Shinerola Girls, or Katarina Christ, for some of you other people who don't play Idol Master Shinerola Girls, um, in this world, because this character of her, and especially when I found out that she was voicing her in the game, it, she's very soft and kind of bubbly in a way. 
And then when you look at, like, Katarina or Ronko, like, Ronko is, is a character within a character. This girl thinks that she is a freaking, mm, kind of like a demon lord in a way. Um, and such. She's like a, she's a Trini boyo. Her and freaking Asuka from I don't know, Cinderella, uh, Cinderella Girls, of course, are both Trini boyos. And it's so freaking cute to see them have, like, that mind and everything, even though they could be, like, I think Asuka is, like, 14 or 15, and Ronko, I think, is either 16, I believe, and just that, it's just adorable, it's cute. Yeah, sometimes you'd be like, okay, but no, that is it, just, it's their thing, let them do their thing. But yeah, I really like who she plays in the series, because she's more bubbly and sweet and adorable and such. Kasumi! Um... I liked her as well. I want to know who her voice actress is because she sounds very familiar. I cannot think of who it is. Her twin, though. What the fuck? It's such a leap when Yuki hit him with the light and she licks the side of Kasumi's face. You'd be like, um, what, what, where are we going with this? So, uh, what, what are we about to do? Hold up, like, time out. And then the one, um, the one other girl with the brown hair and such. She seems interesting as well. So I hope we get to see more of her next week. But yeah, I, I just, that cliffhanger. That cliffhanger. That's not cool. That is not cool. And the fact is that, you know, next week I got to work on Monday. I'm usually working every Monday. I probably got to wait until I get home or if I can wake up really, really early. Because I know Tribe 9 comes out like at 9. And I think this comes out 10 or 11 o'clock. If I can get both of them done. And one of them edited while I'm at work and then edit the other one when I get home, then boom, yeah. But I'm not really going to know. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction review towards episode four of season two of Princess Connect Redive. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Monday or possibly even Tuesday morning, depending on how this goes, <clears throat> for episode five. Bye, guys.